lately a lot of women have been expressing concern about the old sundress, tank top weather coming, uh, which is already here, and how to make their arms look a little bit more summer ready. So I thought I would do a workout today focused on shoulders, biceps, and triceps, and I'm going to do it in that order. When you're doing it on your own, you can mix and match different body parts together, but I'm going to focus today just on hitting my shoulders, burning those out, then moving on. So it's going to be a follow along video, so I'm going to start with my biggest muscles, my shoulders, and I'm going to start with a, what's called an Arnold press, and I'm going to do three sets of 12, but I'm going to mix and match my different shoulder workout exercises. So first one set, I'm gonna do 12 reps. I'm starting with my arms here, coming on up. I'm squeezing my shoulder blades in the back, keeping my back straight. You can do this sitting or standing. Arnold press standing or seated. 
you do. Depends on what you feel like doing. Okay, we're going to front raises. Get my position in place. And do 12 reps. You can also take really light weights and do like 20, 25 reps, whatever you want to do. It's really hard for women to really bulk up, so don't be afraid of going a little heavy sometimes. And then I'm going to finish with my lateral raises for my second circuit. And you will get a sweat just by doing weights. Don't feel like you always have to do cardio. You can, you can get your heart rate elevated with a nice strength routine. I'm not locking my knees. I'm relaxing my knees, but I'm holding my abs in. Two more. You'll find that you probably fatigue on the lateral raises because we're already hitting that lateral movement with your Arnold's. All right, last set of shoulders. You want to feel, once you're done with your shoulders, that you really tire them out. So you want to get almost to failure if you can. All right, last set. If you get bored with your three sets and you want to do your last set with just a shoulder press, switching that, or a single arm shoulder press, you can do that. You can stand for your last set, whatever you want to do to keep it interesting because consistency is key. That's the number one piece of advice I can give is be consistent. So whatever's going to get you to do that. Two more. So it really isn't taking me much time, but because I'm going from exercise to exercise, I'm really burning my shoulders out in a very fast amount of time. Okay. If you start fatiguing on your last set, like I said, you can go single arm if you want to, or keep it double arm. But if you feel like your form's starting to falter, then drop your weight or go to single arm. You really want to protect your back. And your form. All right, four more. Four, three, two, one. And while I film my videos without music, just because I'm going to talk so much, feel free to turn on your favorite tunes while you're doing your workout too. Again, anything to keep you motivated. All right, I'm doing 20 on this one. So I'm doing a reverse ladder because I'm going up in reps. So I'm keeping the weight, I'm just for the purpose of this video, I'm keeping it pretty consistent. I'm not grabbing a lot of different weights. But maybe for my last set I would have gone heavier or I would have gone lighter, gone lighter and mixed up the, the rep amount accordingly. Anything to burn them out. All right, four more. Four, three, two, one. Another trick you can do 
And if you felt like your weight's a little bit lighter or anything, you can do five reps, hold, then come down. So you can always do that if you found that you have picked a weight that you could have picked a heavier one or anything like that. So we're going to do our last set. Now for my last set, I'm going to do single arm lateral raises just to really burn them out and to make sure that my core doesn't falter. Three. Keep your weight equally distributed in your body though. You don't want to be leaning into it. Two more. So this way, because I'm doing single arm, I'm able to hit a couple more reps. Six, six more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. I'm actually gonna grab one more set of weights. I'm gonna go light on my biceps. I'm gonna grab a fives. So biceps. I like to mix and match my weights. So I'm gonna go lighter. So I'm gonna do my eights and my fives. So definitely bring them down in, in weight. So I'm gonna start, there's two heads of the biceps. So what that means is there's two, two different muscles comprise the biceps. So I'm going to kind of attack them from different ways. So my first set, I'm gonna go sideways, is gonna be a wide stance. So my arms are kind of out to the side, but I'm not arching my wrists. I'm gonna make sure my wrists are straight. And I'm just going to squeeze my shoulder blades together and I'm hitting my biceps from a different way. You can again do this standing or seated. And I'm going to do two sets of my biceps because I'm going to do a variety of exercises just to show you guys different ones for your toolbox. And pick out the ones you, that resonate with you. That's the first 12. Now I'm going to go lighter. I'm going to grab my fives and I'm going to call, I call these my platter. I'm going to go higher reps on these and I'm going to again do this sideways. I almost like basically I'm serving a platter and I do about 20 to 25 of these. And I sometimes turn my arms, my hands out, I rotate a little bit. Again, just to hit my biceps in a different direction. making sure I'm not curving my wrist in. And this is where I do my higher reps. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. So for yourself, if you're only doing two, two sets of exercises for biceps, I would probably add in a third, and I would probably do like, so for instance, if my first set was 25, then I went to 20, you might want to go to a 15. But I'm going to show you a couple more exercises. I want to hit this with that. I want to show you a hammer curl. So this kind of elongates the muscle a little bit. So now I'm going to go front stance. You also, if you have access to a, an incline bench, I'm going to show you my last set on that, just to hit again, hitting your biceps from a different direction. But this one, I'm going to go straight up and down, and I'm squeezing in the bottom to get just a little bit of tricep work. So I'll go from a little bit of a side view for you to see. Okay, we're going to do 15 reps on this one, 5, 4, and I'm squeezing in that contraction, 2, and you'll notice I'm not throwing my weights down, I'm really taking my time to come down and do something. So since I do have access to a bench, in the incline, and I'm going to do my second set at a 45 degree angle, again doing the hammer stance. My back is pushed, my abs are pushed up against the bench. Okay, five more reps. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay. Front hammers, we're going to do 12 reps. For rule of thumb, I usually do three to four different exercises per body part. But if you're pressed for time, you don't have to do that. All right. Give myself about 15 seconds just to catch your breath or let your muscles just, you want to let them rest a little bit, but since we're not doing extremely, extremely heavy weight or anything, we have we don't need a rest as long. Obviously, if you're doing a, usually this is more like if a guy's with biceps, a uh, gentleman would do probably heavier weights, so they may rest a little bit more in between reps or sets. All right, 45 degree angle with my arms, and I'm gonna throw in a little bit of a twist at the top on my last one. So I'm gonna come up and squeeze that way. I like to keep my workouts fun and interesting, so that's why I bounce around with different exercises a lot. Try to be creative. And just a couple more. Alright, so before we start our triceps, just take a second, stretch out your biceps, which I do by just taking my right hand fingers and my pressing down on my left side. Okay, so biceps, number one concern that women have. So again, I'm going to hit them from a variety of ways. If you do one dumbbell with two arms, you're going to work your triceps differently than if you take two arm tricep overhead press. So we're going to hit them different ways. So I've got my, my weights, I have them all together. My first set is going to be a single arm, single dumbbell overhead press. 15 reps, I'm going to do this seated. Dropping the dumbbell, two hands. And I'm going to go back. As far as I can go, pulling my abs in. So 
Sometimes I do this one standing, sometimes I do it seated. Okay, a few more. Two more. Now I'm going very light for my first set, and I'm going to do tricep kickback. So I'm going to come out. You can do this one in my other videos I've shown you. You can do a single arm or a double arm. When I get to heavier weight, I'm going to go to single arm. So this one I'm doing 25 reps, and I'm squeezing back, holding, coming down. My last few, I'm going to twist, so I'm going to turn my palm up and hold it. But again, I'm pulling my abs in, a little slight bend in my knees. Okay, so my first set, pretty easy, higher reps. And then I'm going to make it a little bit more challenging by doing single arm, a little bit heavier. So, for my second set of, I'm going to move away from the single dumbbell to two dumbbells. I'm going to stand up, I'm going to grab a little bit, about half the weight, and I'm going to do two arms at once. Usually I put my one foot back just to give myself a little bit of leverage, but I'm not sacrificing my back. I'm really pulling my abs in. Now your, L, your triceps are already going to have work from your shoulders. So they may be fatigued. And I'll do one more. If you feel like your arms are tired, you can go to one arm at a time with one dumbbell. I'm actually going to keep those same weights. Let me throw this down. I'm going to grab an eight. And I'm going to kneel on this bench. I'm going to do single arm, kick back. I'm holding a little bit longer than I did with my first set. Okay, a couple more. Okay, I'm take a quick break. Grab a quick sip of water, and then we're gonna hit a couple more triceps. So I'm also gonna hit, just like I did with my bicep, I'm gonna come out to about a 45 degree angle behind me. Um, just for reference sake, if you are in a gym situation or anything and there's access to cables or bands or anything like that, you can also do your, your workout with those. So, or your home products like your can of soup or water bottles that I've shown you in other videos as well. So there's such a myriad of ways to, um, of means to wait to work your, uh, work your muscles, obviously. So I'm going to take my lighter weight, actually for, Speed, I will do two arms, but I'm going to come out to the side, just about a 45 degree angle. And I'm going back to higher reps. I'm going to do about half of them this way, and then I'm going to twist my palm up in the last set, last part. Okay, now we're going to twist and squeeze. One thing I'm trying to really refrain from doing is scrunching my shoulders. 
A lot of times women do tend to do too heavy of weights when they do their triceps and it sacrifices your form big time and it doesn't effectively train the muscle. My last set is going to go back to my overhead because I like to do an extension and then a press. Um, my last set on these, I'm going to do lighter weight, seated, and rep it out. So I'm going a little bit faster, but I'm really making sure I go deep on my back. So these dumbbells are going pretty far back on my shoulders. I'm going to finish out my triceps with technically a chest press, but it's a close grip, which hits my triceps at the same time. So I'm just going to, you know, my triceps are already seated. This just is a little final power out. Two, three, four, five. I really feel my triceps in this. I'm going to do four more. I call it my finisher. And then I finish with just a quick tricep stretch. Taking my arm behind me, squeezing my shoulder and my elbow. And there you have it. Biceps, triceps, shoulders will get you um, bathing suit, uh, tank top, and uh, sundress ready before you know it. Just hit those maybe twice a week. If you really want to focus on those body parts, maybe do it three times a week. But if you do that, maybe one day focus on higher reps, lower weight, and then another day, higher weight, lower reps. Just make sure that you allow yourself enough recovery in between, so I would not do that on consecutive days. And if you have any questions, just feel free to email me at aneedles at creightonfarms.com. Thanks again for watching. Bye.